Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you how you can take an image that you've created in mid-journey, send it to my designs, and from my designs do all the editing you need to do to it and get it listed in your Etsy shop. All right, super easy. So here is this chameleon image I just did this morning. Um, I'm not going to bother, you know, showing you how to create the image. We have lots of videos showing you how to do that. Um, I'm going to use my my designs Chrome extension bar here, and I am going to send this to my Mid Journey folder. Create new listing, and we are going to name it Chameleon, and hit the upload button, and it's going to send this right to my designs for me. All right. So let's go to my designs. Let me refresh that page. And here is our chameleon. Okay, so now we're gonna start working on editing this and getting it ready for sale. So, so you're gonna wanna select your image here and we're gonna click on quick actions and we are going to upscale image, okay? And what we are gonna do is we are just gonna overwrite the file um, that we have now. The first one that we just uploaded is 1024 by 1024 and we're going to overwrite it with the new 4096 image, okay? Just so we don't accidentally grab that uh, smaller lower resolution image later by accident, okay? So this will take just a minute Okay, this is all done. It's now 4096 by 4096. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Quick Actions and we're going to go to Remove Background. And once again, I am just going to overwrite this. And let's generate the preview. It's going to show us what this will look like with the background removed. Okay, that's what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna click remove background. Yes, we wanna overwrite the file. Yes, we wanna remove the background. And this will take just a minute and we'll check and see when it's ready. Okay, now our background is removed. We can view this, take a look at the file here. And this is what it looks like. And it looks really good, really good. I'm really happy with that. All right. So now we are just selling this as a standalone clip art file, all right? Um, we do wanna make sure though that it has the resolution and the size we want. I typically sell all my uh, digital files at between 12 inches by 12 inches or 14 inches by 14 inches, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, with this still selected, we're gonna go to Quick Actions and I'm gonna go to Canvas, all right? And I am going to change this to 4500 by 4500, all right? And we are going to center our image there and now we're gonna select Fit Vertical, all right? So that made our image a little bit bigger and it is filling our canvas of 4,500 by 4,500, all right? So that's what we want. And then we're gonna come down here to the lower right corner and we're gonna make sure it says PNG and we're gonna click apply. And now it is changing the size of it, you know, so let's give it just a second to do that. All right, now we have it. Now we are 4,500 by 4,500, 300 pixels per inch, which is exactly what we want. So let's take a look at it now. And that looks great. We can zoom in on it and it looks really crisp. It looks great. All right, so we are done here. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna get rid of this file here. This is our 496, 496, 25 pixels per inch. This is 45 by 45, 300 pixels per inch. Okay, that's the one we want. This is the one we don't want anymore. And I'm just gonna delete that quick just so I don't accidentally grab it for anything else. So I'm gonna select 
I did delete files and I'm going to select file one delete okay there we deleted it now I'm going to just move this over to file one you don't have to do that all right so now we have our image finished okay it is all ready for sale the way it is so now what we want to do is we want to go to mock-ups this way people can see what this image is going to look like on different uh, items on clothing on you know mugs tumblers whatever so we are in here in the mock-ups and right now um, we're under clothing so I want to create more than one mock-up so I'm gonna go up here to the top and I'm gonna select multi mock-up and make sure that's turned on okay so right now we have this t-shirt here which I think is great I'm gonna leave that one and that's clothing let's scroll down and let's do a flat lay um, try to decide which one let's just go with this one do this flat lay and we want to make the shirt I like the Heather colors I think they look nice so that's our second uh, mock-up and now here we can go where it says clothing we can go down here to wall art and we can select some frames and we can put that on a frame let's see the canvas I'll do the preview see what it looks like all right that's what it looks like on the frame and now let's go to stickers and let's do uh, some die cut do a die cut sticker generate preview okay and there is the sticker and now let's do some drinkware let's put it on a mug let's generate the preview for that and see I don't like how that it's not showing up right so we're not going to use that mock-up but I always like to Let's see what it will look like on a tumbler. All right, and you can see that it would wrap around pretty much the whole tumbler, so that's not bad. Let's see what it would look like on the uh, set of three tumblers there you can see that looks nice and there's room you could even add text if you wanted to at any rate um, so we have several uh, mock-ups now it's up to you you can keep doing more um, or you can just you know you're finished with it as soon as you're happy with it that, that's all that matters all right so once you have all the tumblers select or all the mockups selected that you want to create, just hit generate mockups and it will now generate all our mockups for us. It'll take just a minute. Okay, and now you can see here are all here are all of our mockups. And now we can move on to getting this ready for listing. So what we are going to do is I am going to expand. We're going to move to list view. And now we have all of our information here that we're going to need for our listing. Okay, now I am going to go over here and I'm going to use my listing generator. Okay, and let's start with this. What am I selling? I am is it a digital yes it is a digital product and we are going to be offering 300 ppi transparent png okay and the name of my product is pastel chameleon um, 
sublimation, design. Okay. Who is my target? What is this for? Sublimation, uh, clip art. <laughs> yeah, sublimation and clip art, I'd say, for this. Any seasonal or trending keywords? I'd say chameleon, lizard, and let's do tropical. Okay, and now it will generate our product title. Pastel chameleon sublimation design, 300 pixels per inch transparent PNG sublimation clip art for chameleon enthusiasts. All right. Now, I may not like, I could get rid of the chameleon enthusiasts, but I'm just going to change that to chameleon lovers. All right. And now we'll go back over here and our description, introducing our pastel chameleon sublimation design, high quality specifications, clip art. All right, and it gave us a really nice product description that we have here now. Let's uh, make sure, there we go, that's formatted a little better. And now our tags, okay, and you can copy and paste these, copy, and just go back over here and paste them in. And with our listing generator, it has been trained to make sure that all of your tags that it gives you are less than 20 characters. I mean, it does make a mistake now and then. See, that one's too long. So we'll skip that and tropical art. And you can just, like I said, just copy and paste all these over. So once I have that done, we'll come back and finish. Okay, so now I have my tags in here. I have my description, I have my title. Now I'll click on this tab, inventory and pricing, and let's give it a price of $2.99 and the quantity is how many of these you have in your shop. I always set mine to $9.99. And keywords, chameleon, clip art, and then let's go over here and do this chameleon or lizard PNG. Okay, now once you have all your listing information, your inventory and pricing and your keywords, you just go over here and click publish. And it is going to give you, you have either print on demand, which this is not, or digital. And that's what we are doing, digital and selecting our Etsy shop, okay? So now select files to sell. Click on that. And the file we are selling is file number one, okay? That's our, um, main file that's 4,500 by 4,500 and that is the one we are selling. So just select that and make sure none of the others are selected. And then next, select our mockups and we're gonna select each one of these. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six and you can double check this here and look and you can move some of these around if you want to um, change how they show up. All right, the first image will be your primary. So, you know, it's up to you which one you want it to be. And once you move them where you want them, just click next step. And now you can look over everything one more time. Next step and your store and you're going to make sure you have your categories all that right and now just click publish okay and now what it is doing is it is sending all this data to etsy 
Okay, so you just want to wait. It's only going to take a minute or two. All right. And it says your Etsy digital job has been completed up here in the upper right. So now what we'll do is go to Etsy and let we are already in listings and let's check our listings and it will be in our draft folder. Okay. And there it is. It is all ready to make live now. I'm just going to open it and edit it just so you can see that it filled everything in. There's our title, there's our images, and the download file is a download. It's a PDF. In fact, I will download it here quick so you can see where it goes. Now you just, your customer will get this PDF and it will have a file that will tell them to download their image and it will download it in a zip file for them. So that's how that works. And there's your description, your price, your inventory. Uh, the only thing is it doesn't add a SKU, so if you have SKUs for your products, you can add it then. It has your category that you chose, and your tags are all in here. And you just have to choose your shop section. Okay, so I will go down here and put it under Sublimation Designs, and click Publish with Changes. Okay, and there it is, and now it's going, should be in our active now, so we can view it on Etsy. There it is. And that has all our mock-ups, everything that we just did in my designs is here, and it looks great, and it is ready to go. Bam, done, just like that. And that's how my designs can help speed up the process for you for listing products. Um, you can do it in bulk. You, you know, you can list 10, 20 products at a time. It's just, it works fantastic. So I'm going to leave a link for my designs uh, below so you can give it a try if you want to. Um, I'll also leave a link for the uh, Chrome extension for Midjourney. So, um, yeah, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know if you've used this before, if you are going to try using it, uh, what you think of it. And if you have any questions, let me know that as well. And I'll see you guys next time.